Hello everybody, welcome to my 4K collection video. It's uh, going to be in three parts. The last part will cover the 4K box sets. I've been collecting quite a lot of box sets in the last year because there have been quite a lot of good releases coming out. So what I wanted to do was just talk to you about uh, the, the plan I have with the videos. Basically, uh, there's fake 4K and there's true 4K. So when it's a true 4K, the 4K indicator will appear in the top corner of the screen. Now that will help you hopefully making more purchasing decisions in the future because those basically are 4K uh, actual uh, original uh, scans. Uh, they reduced from 6K or 8K, whereas when it doesn't have an indicator, it means that it's fake 4K. So it's not, it's been upscaled from 2K DI basically, DI digital intermediate. So hopefully that'll prove useful as we go on. So fairly extensive 4K collection. I've been collecting 4Ks for quite a few years. So uh, we're going to start at the very start. They're not in alphabetical order, uh, but I have sorted them in sort of uh, the Marvels and the DC films are together, that sort of thing. So we start at the very, very beginning uh, with three billboards uh, outside Ebbing, Missouri. Fantastic central performance from Francis McDormand in this one. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, Sam Rockwell and Woody Harrelson were really good as well in this film. And of course, she won an Oscar for this. Then we have the extended edition of The Martian with Matt Damon. Uh, great film this. I really enjoyed this. Uh, that's the 4K of that. And then we have my very first 4K purchase, this one. This was the first one I bought, The Revenant. Uh, fantastic film, uh, lots of natural lighting used in this, of course. And that really made the film pop in HDR and 4K for me. Then we have, the, the, so far, the John Wick trilogy. We have uh, John Wick, this is the American release. I need to tell you that also I buy an awful lot of American 4Ks, so quite a lot of these discs, as you can see, these are the British ones, but quite a lot of them are actually American releases, and there may be some titles you see that you may have thought, oh, I didn't know that existed. That's interesting. You might want to seek that one out. Uh, this is the American uh, 4K of Arrival, which of course has, is out in the UK. Brilliant uh, Denis Villeneuve film, very, very clever indeed. Uh, this is the first one you may not know about. This is an old film from the 80s, directed by Ron Hard. This is Backdraft, and there was an American 4K for this catalogue title. Really, really good uh, picture quality on this, and the sound is fairly good on it as well. Then we have Logan, with the black and white version on it, as well as the colour version, which is quite cool, and that's really good. I must admit, I prefer the original version of this uh, that was made, the Scandinavian version, rather than this remake with uh, Liam Neeson of Cold Pursuit. One that's talked about an awful lot, La La Land. A big popular 4K, this one, and of course, uh, much loved by YouTubers, what I can hear. <laughs> This one I got fairly early when it came out in the US, way before its UK release, Wonder. Great performance from Julia Roberts, of course, the Jacob Tremblay, fantastic role in this. Picture quality on this could have been better, to be fair. It was a good stab. It's not true 4K, as you can see, there's no indicator in the corner, Oblivion. Sicario, the first Sicario was the UK Sicario, and then we have the US release of The Day of the Soldado, the sequel, which wasn't as good as the original film, I felt. Then we have the two IT films, of course, IT and IT Chapter 2. Then we have the US release of Man on the Ledge, which of course stars Sam Worthington. It's sort of like phone booth really, uh, in a way, but it's not a bad little film. Good hour and a half entertainment, I would say, Man on the Ledge. Then we have Lord of War. This of course has Nicolas Cage in it. Proving a very popular director, of course, with his last release, The Lighthouse, Robert Eggers, and the 4K of The Witch.
Great film, Saving Private Ryan, and of course this is the 4K US release of that. Mad Max Fury Road. Hopefully there won't be any more of these. <laughs> Jack Reacher and Jack Reacher, the sequel. A good film from the 80s, only available in the US on 4K. A great performance in this from Kevin Cosner, Field of Dreams. Then we have Scorsese's Shutter Island. As I say, no particular order on these, so this is one of the Transformers movies, the last released one, Bumblebee. <clears throat> then we have one that came out in a six disc version. This is Apocalypse Now. This is fantastic transfer. Multiple cuts of the film, of course, the final cut is a brilliant version of it. Fantastic picture quality, a wonderful Atmos sound mix on this, and this is absolutely brilliant, this release, and as you can see, the artwork on it is absolutely stunning. The Steelbook's very impressive as well, I'm, I've seen that too. Apocalypse Now. Then we have the UK box set, up to all but the last film of uh, Mission Impossible, the five movie collection. The, not all of them come out brilliantly on 4K, but certainly the last sort of three up to before the current, the last release really, was, uh, was excellent on picture quality. And then we have the US release of the, the Fallout film. This is the US version with its slipcover. The reason why I, I don't have a box set of all of them is because I bought the box set of the five first before the new film was released. Then we have a Kino Lorber release. This is a New York based boutique company that specializes in sort of classic films and this was released as their very first 4K outing. Kino Lorber and Hannibal by Ridley Scott. Absolutely fantastic transfer on this. Picture quality superb. Some extra features on there as well which are quite interesting. I recommend this. It's pretty expensive now because there was a limited release run of this. Mary Queen of Scots did not meet Queen Elizabeth II, <laughs> that's fact, <laughs> historical fact, <laughs> but they do in this film, but there you go, that's Hollywood for you. Margot Robbie, obviously, and Saoirse Ronan, uh, they're good, they're good in it, but that's the only thing that put me off when they met in that barn in Scotland, just wouldn't have happened. But a uh, good quality picture on this, a US release, of course, didn't come out in 4K in the UK. Uh, then we have uh, two films out of the three, of course, of this sort of trilogy. Uh, the, they haven't brought out the first one on 4K. This, of course, is Split, uh, which is the better of the two, and then Glass. Independence Day, of course. Interesting little 80s movie here. Uh, baseball fans will enjoy uh, the performance from Robert Redford in The Natural. Uh, Glenn Close is in this film as well, really good film and it's very very enjoyable uh, as, a, as a baseball movie. This is only available in the US. UK release of Russell Crowe, Robin Hood, the American one is coming up. This is Black Hawk Down, the US version of Black Hawk Down. Uh, fantastic picture quality and audio quality on this excellent film from Ridley Scott. Got some four here coming up with all sorts of similar set covers. So the first one, of course, is uh, Braveheart. Then we have Hereditary, which came out only in 4K in America. American Psycho, which now has had a British release, I believe. And this is the US release of Apollo 13. Then we have the trilogy from Book Films, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno, which is the weakest of the three, I feel. My favorite still remains uh, the, the Da Vinci Code. Great film, of course, by uh, Del Toro, Shape of Water. 
first release that came out with a, a increased frames per second rate to 60. This is Ang Lee's Billy Lynn's long half time walk. The US version of the Meg with its slip cover. So this film first on Netflix. Absolutely loved it. Alex Garland is one of my favourite directors. This is Annihilation. Superb movie and I had to get it on 4K when it was released in America. Star Trek Kelvin Timeline I think it's referred to as now. The Star Trek. Then Star Trek Into Darkness. And Star Trek Beyond. One big poly still seeking in Pineland. Not found it though. <laughs> I bought it when it was released at the Shallows. Another four to book now. Um, I think Jennifer Lawrence is particularly good in her role in this particular quadrilogy. This is The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Mockingjay Part 1 and Mockingjay Part 2. US release of Bad Times at the El Royale. Very good film this. Don't Leave Home Without the Dude, The Big Lebowski for the Coen Brothers. Mark Wahlberg in Lone Survivor. Hunter Killer, good submarine movie. Now the UK got a terrible cover release I think for this one. The US did a far better job of with Overlord. This is the uh, French Canadian version and as you can see as we close in the blood splatters that appear to be blood on the cover is actually parachutes and that's so clever. It's quite funny I laugh my head off when I watch this film. <laughs> Another Alex Garland, only available in America on 4K. They need to bring this out in the UK on 4K. This is Ex Machina. Disappointed with this, the girl in the spider's web. Such a brilliant trilogy, of course, um, the Swedish films. But quite frankly, this was a disappointment. The original Pet Cemetery, far superior to the uh, re rebooted version. For musical fans, A Star is Born. Damien Chazelle's First Man, very good film. Now this, this annoys me, this doesn't annoy me. This is the 4K television version of Castle Rock, really clever series. But of course the following series, season two, which is the misery sort of series, was only on Blu-ray. Why they do this? Why they bring out the first series on 4K and then a subsequent series on Blu-ray or DVD only bugs me beyond belief. A bit of a rant there. <laughs> Atomic Blonde, Charlize Theron, great performance in this from her. Clint Eastwood always makes really good movies. This is the American 4K of Sully. Very short, this movie. Angel Has Fallen. I have the uh, three films, which I'll show you. They're a German release, so you might be interested in seeing those. I'll, I'll look at those in my box set video. Disney's Wrinkle in Time. Mm, it's, it's not very good. Is it a Christmas movie or is it not? Die Hard. Super little film, Lucy. The Son of David Bowie, Duncan Jones directed this. Uh, really clever little movie, it's called uh, Source Code with Jake Jigginhall in the leading role. Now we come to X-Men, X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men Days of Future Past. I got the box set of the three films here 
X-Men, X-Men 2 and X-Men 3 Last Stand. Then I had to get the American release of X-Men First Class on 4K. Another Mark Wahlberg is really go-to actor, this guy. He does such a lot of these types of movies. Patriot's Day. Brilliant movie, brilliant performance from Andrew Garfield in Hacksaw Ridge. This is the US release. Uh, this is not the Studio Canal version of it, of Terminator 2. Too much DNR on this, to be honest. More Terminator, Terminator Salvation. I got most of these in Zoom sales. Terminator Genesis. Not very good film at all. And of course the last Terminator release, Dark Fate. Now moving on, we have Darren Aronofsky's mother. I think uh, you either hate it or you love it. Great film, this Spike Lee's Black Klansman. A bit of history there. And obviously Spike does tell it accurately. David John Washington, fantastic. And Adam Driver, brilliant in this film. Then we have a film I really like, Carl Urban in Dread. Matt Damon, The Great Wall. Sounds tremendous on this in the Atmos mix, Everest. Then we have uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, Passengers, and this was a nice little addition. They had the 3D disc in here. They stopped doing it after a while, I think it was obviously too expensive and they just they were costing more money and people just weren't buying the, the one because they weren't really into the 3D thing. First of the two Kong films I'm going to show you, this is Kong Skull Island. T2 Train Spotting. For me, it would have been too long since the original film, and it just didn't work the same way for me. The characters obviously had, had changed over the years, but to be honest, I think it was just too far away from the original for me to really engage with it. And I just felt it a bit watered down, to be honest, from, from the originality that Daddy Boyle had presented in the first film. But if you like it, you like it. I'm going to show you the Jason Bourne box set in the box set section, but obviously this is the uh, last Jason Bourne film. Then we have the three Maze Runner movies. Maze Runner, Maze Runner The Scorch Trials, which I really quite like, and the final one to finish off the story, Maze Runner The Death Cure. Now this is interesting, this one doesn't have any HDR on it and you would think, oh god, that's awful. But it actually looks really good and uh, the phrase dragged across concrete does come readily to mind. This is a really superb performance from Vince Vaughn, one of the best things I've ever seen him do. Brawl in Cellbrock H, only available in the US on 4K this one, so far anyway. Uh, this was terrible, I don't know why I bought it, Bloodshot, awful thing. <laughs> Then we have Pacific Rim, which is a brilliant film, of course. And then the sequel, which is a m mediocre at best, Pacific Rim Uprising. Then we have another book to film uh, trilogy. They do an awful lot of these, don't they, uh, film companies? And uh, let me get the order right on this. So we have uh, Divergent. Then we have Insurgent. And then we have Allegiant, the final one. I think it was meant to be four, but for some reason they stopped after the third one. Then we have Jigsaw, the only Jigsaw film on 4K. Air Force One, fantastic role from Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman in this film. Ben Affleck, quite a good role in The Accountant. This is the American version of King Kong, Peter Jackson. 
and the American release, slightly different design cover of Robin Hood, Taron Edgerton. Love this movie. Uh, fantastic performances in this Green Book. Clint Eastwood is a drug mule in his very, very later years there. The mule. Phone didn't come out in 4K in the UK. Sort of a sort of fantastic Voyager Lilliput sort of feel to it. This, of course, is Downsizing with Matt Damon. Quite a clever little movie. Then we have Denzel Washington as the Equalizer. And of course he came back and did the Equalizer too. Now we come on to Predator. Well, obviously Predator speaks for itself. Fantastic to start that franchise off. Predator 2, I always liked Predator 2. But Predator 3, I'm not so keen on Predators, I think it was called. And the, and the, the reason why I haven't got the 4 film box set is, again, I bought the box set before the release of the new or newer Predator, which quite frankly was abysmal. Uh, and speaking of that, there it is. Nice except cover, but unfortunately the film doesn't nowhere near match up to the quality of the graphics on the cover. <laughs> Now we come to the purges. I'm going to do them in the right order here. So we got the first purge, which is the last film release from that set. Uh, I've got that again separately from the box set of the purge because I bought them earlier. And of course it's the purge, purge anarchy and purge election year. Now I'm going to show you a close up on this one. This is the American box set of Jurassic Park. Only four movies in this and the reason why is again I bought the box set before the release of Fallen Kingdom. So as you can see they're laid out in a book format. So you've got Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2, Lost World, Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World. Nice presentation in that sort of fold out book style. <coughs> and then we have Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. This is the US release with its slip cover. Then we have Jordan Peele's Get Out, brilliant movie. And we're coming now to the end of this video with uh, the steel box set of the first series of Westworld. This of course is a complete 4K release as you can see by the indicator. And I love the quality of picture on this, fantastic sound even though it's only in 5.1. But uh, I'll show you this box, it's really quite impressive. So I just take the GA card off, which is a bit of a nightmare to remove. Oh dear, sorry. There we go. So, as you can see, you've got a nice tin box and you've got the maze on the back, which is quite cool. Then when you open the box, you see you have the actual discs inside the MRA case, which is black, of course. And then if I can just take that out, you have the booklet, which is here. And you also have a card and on the back of that are the list of episodes. I'm not so sure how easy this is to get now because I think they went down to a box version because this was limited. I'm not sure how many, sorry about that. I'm not sure how many copies it was limited to, but it was a limited edition tin, as it says at the bottom there. But um, it's just nice. And of course, unfortunately, the, the last release of Westworld on 4K was a bit rushed and had no sort of special presentation on the on the package and it was very poorly done to be honest. But we'll come on to the other Westworlds which I have in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed the first 4K collection video. I hope you found the, found the true 4K indicators useful for when you're doing your future purchases. Uh, we're about just under a third of the way through my collection so far. The last video will have the box sets uh, mostly I bought last year. Uh, there's some interesting stuff you can see there and I'll go into finer detail with the contents of those box sets because some of them are very impressive visually. So. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos that I'm presenting to you on YouTube and do, do subscribe, do comment and do like and I'll see you on the next one.